Since 1929, industrial customers have depended on Magnaflux for reliable, non-destructive testing products to inspect materials and parts for cracks and defects. Magnaflux products are used in many different industries, but the basic purpose is always the same. Testing parts to locate cracks or other defects that might cause failure during use. Because the parts are not harmed by the inspection process, it is called non-destructive testing. Magnaflux magnetic particle and liquid penetrant inspection methods are generally less expensive and easier to use than other technologies like eddy current, ultrasonics, and x-ray. In this video, we will show you many of the products carried by Magnaflux distributors. We will teach you how to select the right inspection methods for a variety of applications. And we will demonstrate the proper inspection procedures to use with Magnaflux products. When should you use the magnetic particle method? And when should you recommend the penetrant method? Let's explore the factors that affect the decision. The material being inspected is the first consideration. For steel parts, magnetic particle testing is the best choice because it's faster, easier, and more sensitive. But you have to use penetrate testing on non-magnetic materials like aluminum, copper, titanium, and ceramic. The type of defect you need to locate is also important. Magnetic particle testing locates surface and slightly subsurface flaws, while penetrant inspection locates only surface cracks. With both methods, it's important to remove oils, grease, and dirt before testing. But thorough pre-cleaning is critical to the success of penetrant inspections. In terms of processing time, magnetic particle testing gives immediate results. The penetrant process takes more time because it involves several more steps. The magnetic particle method requires a magnetizing device, while no special equipment is needed for penetrant processing. A black light is only necessary when using fluorescent materials. The last factor is cost. The startup cost for magnetic particle processing is higher because of the equipment. However, penetrate testing uses more materials over the long run. Once you know how to choose the right testing method, the next step is learning the correct inspection procedures. For the next few minutes, we will concentrate on the magnetic particle process, both the dry method and the wet method. You'll see the Magnaflux products that are available and learn how the process works. To demonstrate the dry method of magnetic particle testing, we will inspect the weld area on this steel plate for surface cracks. We'll use a Magnaflux model Y6 yoke, a portable articulated AC device that can create a magnetic field. An AC-DC Y7 yoke is also available to detect slightly subsurface cracks. Because the surface of the part is rough and we are looking for relatively large cracks, we can use any of the Magnaflux non-fluorescent magnetic powders, which come in red, black, and gray colors, whichever provides the best contrast. They are easily applied with a powder bulb. The first step in the magnetic particle process is to pre-clean the area to be inspected with Magnaflux SKC-S cleaner. Be sure to give the cleaner enough time to dissolve all of the dirt and oil before wiping the part clean. The second step is placing the yoke on the part. Position it perpendicular to the direction of suspected defects. When the yoke is in place, Press the switch on the handle to energize the yoke and form a magnetic field in the test part. The third step is to apply magnetic particles on the part being inspected while the yoke is energized. We're using black powder in this demonstration because it is easily visible to the camera.
However, you can choose black, red, or gray, depending on which one provides the best contrast in your application. The actual inspection is the fourth and last step. When powder is applied, visible indications appear immediately because the magnetic particles are strongly attracted to any spot where a crack has created a leak in the magnetic field. The dry method magnetic particle inspection method you have just seen is fine for locating larger surface cracks in normal light. But what if you need to find very fine surface flaws? For that, you need the magnetic particle wet method using fluorescent particles and a black light. To demonstrate, we'll inspect this bolt, which has already been pre-cleaned. Coils like the Magnaflux Model L10 are magnetizing devices designed for parts of this shape. Place the part within the coil, close to the inner wall, so that the long axis of the part extends through the coil. Next, depress the foot switch to energize the coil. At the same time, spray the wet magnetic particle bath on the part. Keep the coil on for two seconds after you've finished applying the bath. Our new non-flammable 14A Aqua Glow bath is highly recommended. It consists of our popular 14A fluorescent particles mixed with water, conditioning agents, and corrosion inhibitors. Be sure to shake the can well before use. Inspect the part in a darkened area under an ultraviolet light, like the Magnaflux model ZB100 black light. Fluorescent inspection makes it easy to see the radial crack near the head of the bolt we are inspecting. Even fine cracks can be detected with this method. When the inspection is done, you can also demagnetize the part with the coil. Just turn it on. Place the part inside the coil close to the inner wall and withdraw the part about two feet before turning the coil off. Check the part with a field indicator to make sure the magnetic field is cleared. The Magnaflex non-fluorescent and fluorescent materials used in these demonstrations are available in kits. We also offer kits that combine yolks, coils, and materials.